Hi, welcome back to Movies in a Nutshell. Today we dive into a rather creepy and somewhat unsettling story about a woman who finds a weird hole in her wall. It's a doozy of a story, something that may give you nightmares so be warned. Let's dive in. In the kitchen, Jay grabs the first aid kit and tends to an injury on her hand. The movie just started and we already have someone bleeding. She looks over her buzzing phone but doesn't answer the call. The caller seemed to be an obsessive ex-boyfriend of Jay's. He leaves a long message that Jay fast-forwards through. Later, Jay successfully bandages her hand wound and makes her way to the couch with a bowl of noodles. Unfortunately, she drops it. Picking up the noodles, she finds some blood drips and tries to clean it up. Sadly, it only made the stain bigger. Opening her fridge, Jay finds no food, so she orders takeout. Interestingly, when the food arrives, Jay cautiously approaches the door. She takes a deep breath and stands beside the door, her back against the wall. Slowly she lets herself slide down the wall and sit on the floor. She takes a beat and calms herself down. Jay takes a deep breath and opens the door just a crack to be able to drag in her takeout order. Jay dictates a message on her phone for Lydia, her landlord. Jay asks for the blueprints of the house because she has encountered a wall that seems to be hollow. Jay doesn't mention that she made a hole through the wall though when trying to put up a piece of art earlier. Later that night, Jay gets ready for bed. She brushes her teeth in front of the bathroom mirror. Jay heads to bed and the last thing she sees is the hole she made on the wall. She closes her eyes and immediately, the wall juts forward at her open bedroom door. This wakes Jay up. The next day, Jay is in virtual therapy. Jay's therapist expresses concern for Jay's agoraphobia and recommends that Jay come out to the therapist's office for some face-to-face -face therapy. Suddenly, Jay lets out a cough. Jay explains to the therapist that it was nothing, but the therapist uses it as an excuse to have Jay run outside to the pharmacy, which Jay reluctantly agrees to. Jay stands clenching her keys and facing the front door. She tries to muster up the courage to move closer, but she can't. Jay gets distracted by someone else's coughing in the house. She doesn't go investigate the sound, though, because it's normal to hear other people coughing in your house when you live alone, apparently. Instead, Jay decides to follow some guided meditation to ease her anxiety. Jay sets the laptop on her couch and sits on the floor in front of it. The video tells her to imagine herself in a peaceful happy place with a throne of her own creation. The video continues by making Jay imagine herself sitting on the throne and relaxing. A ring from the doorbell knocks Jay back into reality and she stands up to get her delivery. Jay comes back with a paper bag and sits back down in front of her couch. She chugs some cough medicine and eats a bar of chocolates as she watches the guided meditation continue. Curiously, on her way to bed, Jay notices hair coming out of the hole she made on her wall. Disgusted, she takes it out. In bed, she does some Google searches about secret hidden places in people's houses, but pretty soon, she falls asleep. Jay is woken up, however, by the wall calling out to her via some soothing music. Jay stands up mesmerized by the sounds and almost like in a trance, Jay walks up to the hole in the wall. Moving inside the hole and occasionally popping out is a tongue that Jay is compelled to walk toward and engage with. Yes, it is disturbing. In the morning, Jay wakes up from her nightmare with someone banging loudly on her door. It's her ex who called her a few days ago. Scared, Jay doesn't answer but sits down on the floor near the door. She closes her eyes as her anxiety levels skyrocket. The banging continues with the ex-lover's voice coming from outside begging Jay to come out and talk. Frightened, Jay keeps her eyes closed and her lips tightly sealed. Eventually, Jay's ex proceeds to one of the windows and leaves a note out to Jay. Jay reaches out to move her curtains, and upon seeing the threatening message, she calls the police. Jay files a restraining order against their ex, and the police advise her to get a security camera as well. Jay takes the police's advice and sets up some security cameras in her house. Later that night, Jay's coughing gets worse. She downs some more cough syrup in the bathroom and proceeds with getting ready for bed. Eerily, strange noises and suspicious liquid drip down the hole. It's visibly bigger now than before. It pulsates until the wall cracks. In bed, still coughing, Jay receives a message from Lydia the landlord saying that the wall isn't supposed to be there. It is part of an undisclosed renovation. Lydia encourages Jay to see it as an adventure but Jay is thoroughly creeped out and closes her bedroom door. Alarmingly, despite having closed her door, Jay finds herself sleeping in the hallway underneath the hole in the wall. She is making her way back to her bedroom when she steps on a tooth. Frantically, she checks her own mouth. There's probably a less weird way to do it, 
but Jay decides to shove her fingers in her mouth to check her teeth. She backs away from the hole carefully and closes the door. The wall continues to make loud, disturbing noises. Jay decides to check her security camera's footage to see what happened. In the footage, Jay sees herself walk up to the hole and cough up what appears to be a whole human form. Unfazed, she then proceeds to shove it into the hole in the wall. Jay sits on her bed, baffled having no recollection of the incident whatsoever. Jay, keeping an eye on the creepy hole in her wall, carefully makes her way to the front door of her house. Her agoraphobia gets the better of her though, and she cannot leave the house. She stands motionless trying to push herself forward, while the hole in the wall continues to call to her. With a burst of courage, Jay grabs a sledgehammer from one of her cupboards and swings at the wall until the wall busts open. Jay walks into the darkness beyond the wall. She makes her way into the foggy void and she sees a throne made up of what seems to be severed human limbs motioning for her to come closer. Jay is drawn forcefully toward it. Unable to stop herself, she sits on the throne and is crowned with a creepy headpiece with teeth. Jay seems calm and relaxed for a moment, but when the throne grabs her, she panics. She fights the throne for control and breaks free from the throne's grip. Jay grabs the sledgehammer and slams it down on the throne. Opening her eyes, Jay finds herself outside the house. The sun is shining down bright and her sledgehammer resting on her car. A gaping hole in her wall greets her as she looks back at her house, but a slight smile is seen on her face as she finally makes it outside. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Movies in a Nutshell for more videos like this.